Beer. About 8.6 billion litres is served in Germany every year. There are about 1,300 commercial breweries, very big ones and very small ones. They're united by the German beer purity law, the Reinheitsgebot. It goes back to the year 1516 and lays out strict rules about what constitutes real beer. Only water, hops, malt and yeast. This tradition has long since become a science. Beer brewed according to the Reinheitsgebot really is something special. And for the technicians, that is, the brewers, it's a major challenge to make beer based on the rules. When it comes to beer, nobody accepts that the raw materials may be of different quality depending on the year. That's accepted with wine, but only because consumers have learned to accept it. To put it plainly, you can't afford to have a bad year for beer, even if the hop harvest was poor. Cecilia Cruz Palmer came to Berlin from El Salvador to study biotechnology at Berlin's Technical University with her main focus on the science of brewing. The beer purity law is a key part of it. I think eigentlich das sehr schön, dass man das noch respektiert. I think it's great that that purity is still respected. It's a tradition and I think that's good. But I do think there are a few things that could be improved. Yes, beer is a traditional beverage, but making it is highly modern and complex. Studying brewing is correspondingly intense. Die Brauerei Technologie Brewery technology is based on many basic aspects of science. It includes maths, physics, chemistry and biology. Germany without beer is unthinkable, even if beer consumption has been falling for years. Beer still has a lot of potential. I think we might see a beer renaissance, and that beer consumption would increase again. That's if the brewers become more flexible and make more speciality beers for certain dishes. So that, for example, if you're having a meal of several courses, you could be served different beers by a beer waiter. Cecilia Cruz Palmer will leave the university with a degree in brewing. She wants to own her own brewery back home in El Salvador. She can envisage making many new different types of beer, always building on tradition. The key is Germany's beer purity law. We don't have anything like it in El Salvador. I can imagine having a brewery which has three different beers and a seasonal beer as well. So if it's pineapple season, I try and include pineapple. So I'd have pure beers, of course, but also a seasonal beer so that you can try out new things. Germany's beer purity law can look back on almost 500 years of success. It's probably one of Germany's oldest recipes for success.